Hello and welcome to Jeff's Trips. And today's trip is going to be in uh, beautiful Cozadale or Cozadale, Ohio. And we're going to look at the train track, talk a little bit about that. And then we're going to go to the general store, which is right behind me here. And talk to them a little bit about that general store too. So thanks for coming along. And I'm really glad you're here. All right, here's the general store in Cozadale or Cozadale, Ohio. And this reminds me of my hometown or my family's hometown, Kings Mountain, Kentucky. You can see the uh, railroad track down there. Kings Mountain was very similar to this area, which is kind of like, I think it's kind of neat um, because the way the tracks run below the town. So we're gonna walk in here. Got my finger in front of the camera like I usually do. See what's going on in the general store. It's been all restored um, by the Phipps family. A lot of neat stuff in here. I come in here often. So this is Ruth Phipps. She's the uh, owner and proprietor of the store. She got sad when this store was vacant for a lot of years and uh, decided to re, you know, to re-up it and redo it and all those kind of good stuff over time. She's got a lot of neat information too. So what's this picture of here? Here's the uh, French Bower Creamery. Okay. This would have been the depot. Yeah, the depot, which is on the other side of the track. Yes. And I guess the creek, I can see right there where it, uh, right there where the foundation did drop down into that kind of like the creek area. Yep. This is the old store that we're in now. And then the Christmas house next door. Correct. That's, that's where they, we have Santa in. they do, uh, yeah, the Santa thing and stuff. And there was a... A train wreck, I believe it was in 1902, and there's the depot, 1909, somewhere in that vicinity. There's, yeah, the, there's the depot. We're talking in rough, uh, approximate yes. time frames here. Yeah. 1909. Okay, so there was a big wreck in 1909, and it took the depot out, yeah. and then they never did rebuild it, I guess, after um, that. Yeah, don't know. Very interesting. So, what uh, do you know about when the store started and then when it kind of was vacant for a long time? I heard late 1800s it started, just different people talking. Um, I bought my son's first wagon and tricycle at the store in the early 70s. And then it probably That's neat. Went, went vacant sometime in the 90s. I would say because when we purchased it, they said it had been vacant for like 16 years. Yeah, okay. So you've had it since the 90s? No, we bought it in 2000. Oh, it went vacant in the 90s, okay. Yeah. And then you probably opened it, my guess, what, about 2012, 2013, something like no, that? No, it would have been uh, 2016. 2016, okay. That's because that's when I started driving. I, I bought the house we live in now in 15. And then I started driving between here and the shop and noticed the signs and stuff. Yes. So, and then stopped in obviously, and the rest is history. So, um, anything that of note in the store that you guys sell? Well, we try I see to do, honey. Yeah, we try to do some local products. We've got um, Wolf's Honey, he's approximately a mile away. We have uh, maple syrup out of the Morrow area. And we have uh, soap from the Goshen area. Okay, that's neat. Well, I'll go around and film a couple of those things, and I may go down by the track. Okay. Um, I did look at the track. I did a little research myself on my phone last night and noticed uh, that that track goes through Loveland, um, across the trestle in Loveland, and makes its way all the way down to the Union Terminal. Um. Some of the guys that know trains very well say that's one of the steepest climbs coming from uh, Loveland up this way. That's neat. Yeah. 
So, okay, that's cool. Well, we're gonna look at the store. This is in Kazadale. How do you pronounce it, Ruth? Cause it... I, I say Kazadale. A family member from Pennsylvania stopped by one day and uh, they say the name is Kozad. Kozad Dale, which a lot of places are have Dale on the end of it. You yeah. ever notice that? Yeah, a smaller is, area. Dale must be an area or something. This is Wolf's Honey. He's a local guy that does different things, but this is one of the things he does. Little tune there in the background. And then we got uh, anything else? We got puzzles up here, different things. Got your typical milk, typical store fare. Oh, she does have some uh, clothing type stuff here. Swag. Necessary essentials. And then over here, they, she's got some uh, coffee. And then this is some of the farm stuff here. Dogwood farm, ground beef, and hamburgers. Stuff like that. That's John J. Kazad. And he was the founder of uh, Kazaddale. That's his son, Robert. Kind of neat. Okay, back to this guy, Robert. He's got artwork in the Louvre in France. So I guess he's a, there's a few famous people that come out of this area. Yeah. Um, Clem Bevins over here. What is that baseball player? Clem Bevins. Yeah, I can't see. He's the old guy down here, right? What are they looking for? Clem that? Oh, okay, okay. He yeah. was born in Kazadale. Okay, that's neat. Yeah. Wait, do you remember the name of the baseball player that used to live here? There was a baseball player. I did read that too. So they do a. Uh, Santa Claus thing here um, every Christmas about two weeks or so two Saturdays before Christmas and that's at the house next door and then here is the general store that we saw in the picture in the postcard this is pulling away from the general store and we're gonna turn down this little street called Front Street here. Runs along the track. I was sitting down there a little bit ago. And so yeah, here's the track. Now the track um, going Let's stop here for a minute. I'm gonna get out. The track going that way is going down towards downtown Cincinnati. Probably 20 to 30 miles, I would say, from the city. If this track goes down through Loveland, across the trestle, across the Little Miami River down in Loveland, an old Loveland area, and then works its way down through uh, Norwood, right next to the Norwood football stadium. Um, and then it go, ends up, you know, behind Union Terminal. And then all points beyond into Kentucky goes over the trestle into Kentucky and stuff like that. Of course, when it gets down to the train yard down there, um, it separates into all kinds of tracks, you know, to unload and load and stuff like that. And then going back this way, is north 
And it's, I followed the track all the way to Chillicothe. I didn't follow it anywhere behind that. But it did uh, go to Chillicothe. And I'm assuming Columbus and on, uh, but who knows on that. And then right over here is where the depot was. There ain't much room next to where the creek is. I'm sure that's washed out over time, but uh, very interesting for sure. I've always wanted to walk down here just to see if you could see the old foundation or anything. And it'd be interesting to see if you can see it. This looks like it right here. So that's the foundation of the old depot. It sat right here next to the track. Very interesting. Right up through those trees is the general store. Must not have been a very big depot because the back of that foundation is probably, I'm probably halfway between the foundation, which is right there, and the track. Um, probably 12 feet, 15 feet at the most from the, where I was standing from the back of the foundation. I'm sure these are some building pieces too here. All very interesting. Too bad a train didn't come by. Cozadale, Ohio, general store, Ruth, come and meet her and buy something. She would really like it. Well, that was an exciting little trip to the general store in Cozadale, Ohio. Um, today is January 15th and it's 2023, 37 degrees, sunny, beautiful day. Um, Bengals are playing tonight. Hopefully they'll beat the Baltimore. And we'll be talking about that next week. Um, welcome to Jeff's Trips, and I hope you have a great day.